We're back with all of our console capers for Aria of Sorrow. This is the handheld section of our game. We're kind of in that uh, GameCube era uh, of uh, stuff now, but we're moving on to the handheld portion of Spectacular 4, and that is Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. I've never really played this game at all, uh, but so I'm kind of intrigued. I have uh, some friends who really do love it. So, uh, I am intrigued. We'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm assuming I don't have enough slots to do my full moniker. I might have enough to get at least the uh, FY, though. Yeah, I do. I get one I can at least get the seven characters. If I can get seven characters in, I'm okay. Just cut my vowels out. The year is 2035, Japan. Crowds of separate, uh, spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz, and I am a high school exchange student st studying abroad in Japan. I live near Hakuba Shrine, in an ancient shrine strong ties to Japanese mythology. Minakuma is the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, both classmate and childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse with Mina, but for some strange reason, the stairway leading up to the shrine felt longer than usual. I kept when I finally managed to get through the game, my senses began to dim. The pitch black sun holding chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse sleeping soul as if looking for its missing half. So I guess this is another uh, Castlevania set in Japan. That's kind of cool. Oh no! It's the castle! Dracula never fucking dies, man. Oh. Mm. Well, hi, Mina. Looks like he's coming, too. I'm assuming Mina being her name is some reference to Bram Stoker, but... So you've decided to join us, have you? Had a pleasant nap? It's okay, Soma. His name is Genyi. Genyi Arikido. Genyi Arikido. Okay. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions that I need answers to. Go, go ahead. Why have you come here? Well, me and I... Hang on, where are we? We're on Dracula's Castle. Dracula's Castle? Are you telling me we were in Europe? No, we're inside the solar eclipse. We're inside the solar eclipse? <laughs> Alright, well, at least me and Soma are on the same page. Yeah, I'd kind of like an explanation as to how we're inside the eclipse as well. Huh? An enemy! Oh, that's not an enemy, that's lots of enemies. Spears? So it has awakened. What was that? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Why would I have that power? I agree. You've <laughs> gained the power now, you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Uh, yeah, but... Okay. Oh, well, you could save her from paper that. Okay, so, I mean... This is kind of interesting. Uh, Dracula's castles appeared during an eclipse. I have apparently been sucked into the eclipse with my friend who is now, and this guy's just going to put up a nice little magical barrier for her to keep her safe. Well, you can throw a spear. That's good to know. 
Set forth your own life and hers are at stake. Alright, well, fair enough. Jumping's not horrible. Alright, we can make do with this. The castle corridor. So many zombies. Oh, they're just gonna keep coming. Alright. Right, Castlevania rules. <laughs> the monsters just keep coming. Right. Well, I didn't call them hearts this time, but at least they... It is the same principle. Hit the candle, get some money. Oh, man. Should spawn two. It's not fair. Bats. I got a short sword. Yeah, I think I'd probably rather use the uh, short sword. Sand. Switch the spirit to ability type. Okay, let's save. One second here. That's kind of cool that I can look up enemy data. I'm kind of down with that kind of shit. Equipping the item activates effect. Okay, whatever. Come on, yo man. Face me. No, not on the ground. I don't like you when you're like that. Uh, I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be going. Underground reservoir? Okay. See what you're trying to do here. So much for having the high ground, Anakin. Ooh, I got a pendant. Nice to be able to swim for a change. Rather than having water just obliterate you. Woohoo! I figured I wouldn't like you guys. Don't like that very much. You're fucking tough. Tasty meat. Okay, so I have to use items manually, which is fine. I'm also guessing I need an item to get to where I want to go there. That's a little frustrating. I have to admit, there is something I like about linear storytelling where you don't have to backtrack and really redo things. Although I do, I do get the appeal to it. I just don't necessarily always like it. Oh, come on! Dick. Following you. Oh! Dick.
charge it this time. Backdash by pressing L. Ooh. Got. Got a lot. So far, this isn't so bad. Oh, man. Oh, he throws that. Oh, you can throw it down as well. Good to know. Handy piece of information, huh? Seriously? And three hits to kill an archer? Come on. Shenanigans. Probably should have saved my food. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you big. Oh, really? Bullshit. I call horseshit. Entirely and utterly. No wrong way, dude. Come on. Screwed by a couple of cheap shots. But it's fine. I recovered. Okay. That wasn't graceful. That wasn't how I wanted to win that. I euchred a little couple times there, so. I, but I rolled with it. It's fine. Uh, we leveled up. Does that mean anything? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Interesting. Cast map one. I don't really give a cast map one. But... Right, three hits. Ridiculous. It's fucking archery. Oh, come on. I don't know what you are. I assume you're an evil creature. <sighs> don't know what that was. Got lucky with it. Oh man, this is cool. Oh, look at this background. Daisy. 
Aw, oh, come on, can I not reach that jump yet? Do I need, like, a double jump or something to do that? Oh, man. I wonder if I need something else to get that. Make that jump. That would suck. That would be ideal. But, you know. Oh, another safe spot. That's good. I must be able to make that jump. Have to be able to. Otherwise, they wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't be right there, so. Also, that's a very cinematic moment, right? Screw you, get your dick away from me. Get it away. I don't like it. Ain't no one want that. Hello, torches. I'm saying. Ooh, level up. Ah, screw you guys. Oh, no. Flying armor, falling spirit slows down and jump distance increases. That's what we're looking for. We'll see. If I get over here and I can make the jump, then we'll know. got to be something I have to equip. I think. Oh, there we go. I do have it equipped, right? Spawning feeds was in. Okay. Do I have to do something with that? Ah, dang it. Come on, get up there. This is a little annoying. God, fuck off, come on. Dude, seriously? Why? Okay, so I don't understand. I use that that way. 
Ah, okay, gotcha. Fuck, a little instruction would go a long way, eh? Be sure to check out the Is That All podcast for all of your geek news. You can find us anywhere you can stream and download podcasts, and find us on social media at Is That All Pod. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me grow and lets me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out there. Don't forget to check me out on social media at Beefy Thiefy anywhere that you look at. Uh, don't forget to check out more videos, especially more spooktacular. <laughs>